Hello my lovely YouTubers. Um, long time no talk. Um, I should be making videos regularly because I have a router at my sister's across the street now. So I can easily um, upload videos a lot faster. Um, I have a lot of things to talk about. Some products that I've been loving. Things I've been reading. Um, different things like that. A product I've been hating. Something that's getting discontinued that I'm upset about. Um, a bunch of different things. So we'll start with shampoo. Um, I actually got a haircut yesterday. I got, my hair was like down to here. So I got a good amount cut off. Um, I love my haircut. I'm happy with it. It's just, I was really trying to grow my hair out, but my ends got so dry. And then I found out what was making my hair dry was the Pantene Beautiful Length Shampoo that I was using. Um, it says it's uh, long, like good for long hair. Um, it really dried out my ends really bad. Um, the stylist told me that this was probably the culprit because apparently that shampoo is really known for that. Um, I don't. I think it's probably all Pantene. I don't know. Um, I know at least she said that one that I was using. Um, definitely does it. But I am very, very happy with my hair. Um, I like the face framing. Um, I do still have some considerable length. Um, it will grow back, and I am going to be working really hard to get it long. Um, so it'll be grow. I want to really grow it out. So we'll see now that these ends are really nice and all that good stuff. So I'm going to really work on that. Um, a product I'm hating. Absolutely hating. Um, L'Oreal Voluminous. I liked it at first. Well, I tried it once before, the regular version. This is the Carbon Black. And I hated the regular version. And everyone on YouTube talks about the Carbon Black or Voluminous, Voluminous. Um, so I thought I'd give it another try. I can't do it. This, like, look at it. It's like, okay. When you pull it out of the tube, there's like a big glob right on the end. Um, it's not really the brush that's the problem. It's, I don't know if it's a formula. This flakes so bad on me. Literally, you can see flakes of it in my eyelashes, um, underneath. Um, like, it flakes instantly after I put it on. It's horrible. Um, I let it sit for a little bit, gave it some time. It just got goopier, which made the problem worse. For some reason, this just does not agree with me. So, um, I think I'm going to give up on the voluminous after this. Um, it just doesn't work for me anyway. Um, it might work for other people. Uh, just, it wasn't agreeing with me. Um, something I'm loving, Lorgel Spackle Primer. This giant tube, I got at Ulta. This is two ounces. It's $25. $25. And usually, I got mine for like $22 something because I used one of these like Ulta coupons. You can get like when they, when they mail their catalog or whatever, you can get these coupons for $350 off. Um, I did that. Um, I also had a gift card. Oh, and I have voluminous all over my hands. Um, I had a gift card I got for Christmas and, um, my primer from Hard Candy had ran out and I'm like, well, let's try something a little more high-end at Ulta when I was there because I had the gift card. Yeah. This is normally $25 and I used to keep them so 22 something. Um, I really like this. Um, it's not greasy. It's got a pump, which is nice. You only need one pump on your hand, or like one pump in your fingers. It does your whole face. Um, it doesn't take more than that. So this will last you a really long time. And that's really not a bad price, $25 for that much. Considering you only use one pump at a time. This will probably last you a really long time. Um, that's what's nice. Um, also, there's not, really, there's not really a strong smell to this. And I like that. Um, it's not, it doesn't have that greasy silicone -y feel, um, it blends in really nice, um, so definitely try this because when you think about it for 25 bucks, that's a lot of product, it's, that's two, two ounces, um, there's really not that much talk about this on YouTube and I'm surprised, um, cause this is a really good primer and it's not a bad price. Um, one thing I'm upset about. My concealer that I love, the Dream Mousse Concealer from Maybelline, is being discontinued. They said, according to their website, others, what they're saying, Maybelline's saying is, there wasn't enough high demand for this product. Um, I've heard a few gurus and a few other people on YouTube talk about it, and they loved it. Um, I haven't really heard anything negative about this concealer, honestly. Um, I'm getting down to the bottom, which is sad. 
Um, hopefully, maybe I can scoop one up before they aren't in stores. Um, originally, when I bought this, I thought this was going to be a little too dark. This is one darker than what I should have gone. But actually, under my eyes, it actually works out pretty well. Um, I mixed this. I put this on. And then I put a little bit of El, uh, Elf's concealer, the $1 concealer, and over top of that. And it actually evens out a really, I think, does a nice job. Um, but I'm kind of sad that they're getting rid of this. Uh, for me, I thought everyone I talked to loved this. So I don't understand why, how is there not, how is there not a high demand for this product? Um, I wish they'd come out, unless they're going to come out with like a Dream Smooth Mousse version of this. Um... I don't know. I, I'm kind of sad, <laughs> to be honest. Um, another addiction, Android. I love my phone. In this case, I got at a stand in the mall. Um, but I got my Android phone. This is a Samsung, Samsung Intercept. Um, i addicted to Android. Um, I do everything on my phone. Um, my phone is my child a lot of the time. Um, but I really, I'm kind of addicted with Android phones. Um, what I've been reading. James Patterson is a new addiction. I've been reading like crazy. I read about four books a week now. Um, this is Kiss the Girls, which is the second one in the Alex Cross group. Um, I know Alex Cross is not a new series, but I just came, I just started picking it up. Um, but I really like this, uh. They're kind of, he's a cop or a detective and a psychologist, so he gets some really creepy murders. Um, you're going to notice that I really am in a cop murder series. Um, another James Patterson series that I'm reading, yes, I read multiple series at a time. The Women's Murder Club, I'm on the sixth one of that, and I really like those. Um, I think the tenth one comes out later this year, so I want to get caught up by the time the tenth one comes out. But I really like that. Um, these are library books. Um... My like, local library is really great, uh, so I really like being able to get a lot of different things. Another series that I'm obsessed with is um, the J.D. Robb in Death series. J.D. Robb is actually Nora Roberts. This is like her alter ego, her like bad girl ego um, when it comes to writing. This series is about a cop or a, like a lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Eve Dallas. Um, these are set in 2060. So you got a little bit of a futuristic, so things are changing. They have different ways of catching Catching killers a little bit. Um, I guess the kills are still the same. They just change it up. Um, there's different things that they have. I just like this. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Not kind of. Um, really addicted to these books. Um, what else have I read lately? Uh, Richard North Patterson has a good series. Uh, Silent Witness is a good one of his. Also, anything with the Chris uh, Paget series. So, what is it? Uh... Uh, child, uh, something of a child. Crap. <laughs> that was a couple weeks ago that I read that. It's hard to remember, but Richard North Patterson is really good. His books are usually thick, long reads, but, um, I really like them. Um, yeah, I'm really into cop books for some reason. Really into cop books. I have no idea why. Death and Murder seems to be my, uh, book of choice lately. So, um, yeah. Sorry, the dog's, like, over there. Um, that's kind of an update of what I've been into and all sorts of different things and um if you want to know some more of like what I'm reading or you want that to be kind of a regular like once a week kind of thing um please let me know um uh, any other questions you can post them down below all that good stuff um I may seem a little awkward because I'm not used to the camera anymore but um I'm hoping to make this a regular thing I'm really going to try and make it a regular thing so if not every day or every other day. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.